Mm-mm. Not in my house. It puts the stockman on, or it gets the hose again. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff for MadHatterReef.com and today we're going to be working on building a Stockton standpipe for your overflow. Uh, for this project you're going to need a length of PVC. Um, you're going to want to make sure it's going to fit within your overflow. In this case I needed a one inch pipe to go inside the baffled that is already installed into the overflow. You're going to need a inch and a quarter coupling. You're going to need a one inch cap. And you're going to need an inch and a quarter repair coupling. And these guys, you don't necessarily need this piece, you just need that little black gasket that's inside it. Um, I think it's like three dollars for that piece so it kinda stinks. You can't just buy the gasket or at least at my local hardware store I can buy it. So that's all you need to build a stockman. Um, now we're gonna go get some measurements for our cut. So I'm gonna put about an inch of that pipe inside that bulkhead and I'm going to want to get over it's really hard to see because this plastic is just so dirty right now um, so I'm looking at probably about a four inch you can kind of see it there you see that little line across the back wall right there that's where the water is going to be coming into this back chamber and the overflow and I'm gonna want my pipe to go probably about a half an inch to an inch past that so we're looking at about a five inch cut so now that I have my measurement on how tall my pipe needs to be, I'm going to make my cut. Here I am taking apart the repair coupling so I can get the rubber washer out from it. Now I'm going to place together the stockman, kind of like a dry run, so I can get a better idea of where I need to drill the pipe that's going to be on the inside so I can make some marks. Okay, now that I have it all together, I'm grabbing my Sharpie and I'm gonna make a few marks to where the slip coupling actually covers on the pipe. And with the space between the rubber gasket and the lines, is where I'm going to drill my holes so the water can actually enter into the pipe. There's nothing fancy about how I went about drilling this, I just pretty much peppered that space with drill holes. Like I said it before, nothing fancy with drilling the holes, just wanted to get the job done. Now the way that this Dockman works is the slip coupling sits on top of that rubber gasket and it creates a space between the pipe and the coupling. And the water comes up through that space and down into the pipe. And what it's doing is not allowing the air to go into the pipe at the same time. Right here I am drilling a hole in the cap and I will show you why I'm doing that in a little bit. The PVC pieces that I'm putting the stockman into is kind of a quick disconnect that I made that I didn't end up using in the end. So now I need to fill up the tank and the overflow and get this baby rocking. Alright, so this is why I drilled a hole in the top of that cap. Watch the water level as soon as I put my finger over the top of it. It actually increases the amount of water that it pulls with that 
hole being covered. So this is where a valve comes into play. What we're going to do is we're going to take any valve that you have kicking around or you can go to the store and pick one up. Uh, this is one that I just had laying around. We don't need the second valve so we're going to completely close that off. But we're going to take some airline tubing, put it in the hole and we'll be able to dial in that stockman to be a little bit faster and even a little bit more quiet. Okay, so I got the airline tubing coming out of the hole in the cap going to the valve and I adjusted the valve just right so I could get the most amount of water pull out of the overflow without it making any type of uh, sucking for air sound. You know, it's a pretty quick fix. Um, a lot of these newer overflows that are coming out today do have these standpipes already built into them. Uh, but, you know, it never hurts to be able to make this stuff on your own, especially if you're doing your own overflow boxes. So that is the Stockman in a nutshell. Alright guys, so I'll see you next time. Take care.